Hey guys, welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple slide transition in HitFilm Express, and this time it's going to be more for beginners and it'll be easier to understand. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up a new composite shot, because it just makes every, everything that you want to do with editing a lot easier, so you click the new button, composite shot, and then it shows up, just click OK. Alright, so next up you want to add the two clips that you're going to be using for the transition. So these are my two clips, I just chose some random clips, I'm just going to trim them a little bit. Alright, so now we got our two clips inside here. You're going to want to go into the effects tab, search up spherical effect, sp spherical warp, I already found it, so it's so right there, drag it into both of your clips. And now, you see how it's like really weird and like circly? You don't want that, so you want to go down to the amount of spherical warp, set that to zero, so then all this uh, circly stuff disappears. And then do the same thing for the other clip. Just go to the effects, spherical warp, set the amount to zero. Boom. All right. Now we're actually going to start working on the effect itself. So right around when the clips change, you can use this bar down here to zoom in. So it's a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Right when these two clips change, like right in the center, I'm going to change shift texture X up. So what shift texture X does is it like moves it like shifts the screen kind of so that's what gives it this slide effect all right so now let's incorporate shift texture x into our transition so you can ex uh, experiment with how much you want it to slide but i usually like going around 0 0.0 no, no not 0 0.0 0 0.2 so let's see that shifts it over just about 20 percent so uh, we're going to make a keyframe by clicking this button now you can go back about I don't know, um, one second I'd say, and it says it's zero. So you can tell um, how much time has passed with this top bar. Like this is one sec, that's a one second like time, this is a two second, that's three second. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so right now it's just super linear, if you kind of get it. Like it doesn't like move up in speed gradually, so what we're gonna wanna do to fix that is to highlight both of these click this circular button right here. This is called the menu bezier. Then click the value graph. And pretty much what this does is this controls like how fast the thing moves up. Like this is a graph. So um, this is the the effect, the shift texture X. So you see I go zero, zero all the way up to 0 0.2. So if it was like, this is what it was like before. It was just a straight line. But now with the circle thing enabled, we can change it so it's slowly gradually going up so let's see what this looks like yeah it looks a lot better now so just to explain this to you more if it went straight up really fast pretty much what would happen would it would like instantly shoot up and then slowly decay over like if you watch you see how it instantly shifted and then slowly decayed so this graph pretty much just you can change how like fast you want something to happen so yeah, there we go. We got that part done. Now we got to get out of the value graph and do pretty much the same thing, but opposite for the other clip. So we're going to open this clip up, go to effects, spherical warp. I'm not already set to zero, but instead, right at the very beginning, we're going to want to set shift texture X to negative 0.2 this time, instead of 0.2. Click this circle to make a keyframe. Go in about a second. Click this again, set it to zero. So now you should have two little dots here. Highlight both of them. Click the manual bezier effect, value graph. All right, and when you're in the value graph, this time it's gonna be opposite. So last time our graph looks something like this, but if you watch it back, you'll notice that it does not look good at all. Like it's kind of weird. So this time it's gonna be the exact opposite. Where it curves right here, it's gonna be right up here. It's just gonna be like this. You wanna move these two things like that. So now it looks the opposite. Now if you watch it back, it looks a lot more clean and smooth. There we go, and with a little bit of rendering, it'll look nice. All right, now I've rendered everything, and this is what our final result was. I think that's a pretty good slide transition we made in probably like five minutes, and it's a good transition I use a lot, and it's super easy so beginners can learn too. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if anything was unclear, leave it in the comments and tell me what other like um, what other editing tutorials you want to see next, because all my old ones are trash. So yeah, just leave them in the comments.